Tange Hayat Colors of Life with me Shagufta Khan Be inspired and stay informed in this fun-filled lifestyle show with Shagufta Khan discussing inner and outer beauty with opportunities to win lots of prizes every Monday from 1:30 to 2 p.m. This is the best time for me to understand for you to understand that what are the three rules to have happy life we all want it to be happy isn't it we all want it to be happy mm-hmm. yes but we have challenges so how to go through challenges and be happy so number 1 is what we have to do ignore the first thing we have to ignore and uh, wherever we are whatever age we are whoever is listening we have in our mind that we going to get this thing in my life i wanted to become this or i wanted to achieve this i wanted to go to that uh, you know position whether is position whether achievement whether whatever we all have goals in our lives whether we name it whether we don't name it like i say i'll after the metric i'm going to do this job after the metric i'm going to do uh, like um, tertiary ex- education but some people say after, after, but whatever we have beautiful sketch of our goals and uh, what happened that uh, we try to achieve as well most of us most of some of us are lazy but most of us want it to be there let me tell you that that if we try to achieve goals it's a big uh, sacrifice big discipline as we said lot of hard work as we mentioned last week lot of you know dedication because of those things we will achieve what we want it and we will go towards that okay we wanted this we achieved this i became a doctor i became an engineer i became someone dressmaker i became a fashion designer i became a radio presenter i became a news reader i became whatever you achieved already you been through a lot you did hard work you dedicate yourself you focused and you didn't entertain yourself as the time you just focus and you did achieve now what happened there is no one in this world when they achieved their special goals and they don't they never got criticized from other people the people who are they surrounded the people from far the people and that is very very normal that once we achieve something special extraordinary we wanted our mindset was so powerful that we achieved we will definitely get criticism like criticism comes with that as well and we can check in any one you can take the people who achieved a lot or they become leaders or they become some kind of position they have that you know they have the criticism is there always so like i'm just giving you an example that one muhammad mustafa sallallahu all our prophets muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was you know how bad how much in quran we know that what they used to say what they used to say that how to you know how they criticized at him how what what they didn't say to him they say shair he's a poet he is i don't want to even use those i don't like so all these names he had from the people after he achieved prophetess once they know that he declared after 40 years alhamdulillah the bosat came then people start talking about him this is the highest example then we're talking about other in each and every institute organization if a person achieve something the criticism start 
like uh, in my mind because I'm from I, and we all know it's not like I'm from Pakistan so I know Allah Akbal Allah Akbal everyone knows he's the poet of East he's, I get inspired of his poetry and his philosophy of life and he, you know so many things just mesmerize me so he is also what got um, criticized by a lot of people actually he had they were there was fatwa on him fatwa of shirk imagine when he wrote uh, shikwa one poetry when he was telling he was uh, making uh, you know telling allah subhanahu wa ta'ala complaining you know shikwa means complain when he wrote a beautiful you know verses about complain that a human can complain about him that why like this why like that and about from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the fatwa came then he wrote jawab shikwa he answered those complaint from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's perspective then people understand and today people call his name allah maqbal rahmatullah alayh because the the you know the wahad wahdat the onlyness is what the way he explain he explains so beautifully of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sajda and the reality of ibadat and the taste of ibadat that hardly you get in other poetry so now what happened we acknowledge so if you get if you get any kind of criticism any kind of negative approach towards you while you are busy achieving something or you have achieved something what you have to do ignore ignore we have to ignore we have to ignore so many things to achieve our goals and let me tell you we i, I don't know whether it's the right thing like every everyone wants you know we have to pay the price this is the price we are paying we all are paying this is a price to pay when we become something when we need something this is the price we have to pay all of us in other way different ways we all have to pay the price to achieve to go towards that standard like everyone wants to go to jannah i want to go to jannah right i said no every time allahumma inni asaluka jannatul firdaus allahumma inni asaluka jannatul firdaus we all want it alhamdulillah we are trying to do good deeds we are trying to do our ibadat we are trying to do this everything we doing right but to go to jannah what is the main thing we have to go through the price to get jannah we have to die and we all get scared of that hum sab ko maut se dar lagta hai we all scared of our death but this is the price though we are doing all the good things to go to jannah but when how are we going to go to jannah when we will die so we have to pay the price so like just an example i'm telling you if i wanted my earrings like you know we pierce the baby's ear what we do we drilling pain it's a pain but for the beauty we say oh you know for the beauty we can bear the pain and everything so each and everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us is we having we we have to pay the price then we get we have to do efforts we have to do good things we have to ignore so where i am actually bringing your point that if you are busy doing something and people are there with negative approach towards you ignore them ignore them because you doing a good work and good efforts good things good deed good efforts need lots of efforts as well you will definitely get reward but you do the efforts like if we wanted to read salah we can't read salah first we have to make our self park nice wuzu we have to go and make wuzu we getting ready for the namaz 
so it will take some time we can't just go but if we wanted to watch television social media internet do we make wuzu no it's so easy 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 peasy we have to do that so learning lesson that whatever good things we need to achieve have to pay the price have to work hard it's not effortless very beautiful we spoke about uh, that to keep the things nice to keep the things like uh, you know in a in a in a good shape we need efforts the other things you don't need efforts breathing the bad habits the thing does not need any effort it's just so easy so the people with the weak mind they just go to do the easy things like uh, like just in uh, i'm talking with our sisters and brothers that uh, if we say there's a food leftover food we want it to eat next day or we want to save it how we do it we are putting effort we are dishing out in another container nice clean container and we're putting it in the fridge because we want it to keep use it for the next day and we want it not to be you know stale or spoil but if we don't want that food and we wanted this phone to be food to be spoil rotten you know spoil, then what we don't do anything we don't put any effort we don't put it in the fridge refrigerator is off what will happen there nothing it will go off easily it'll go off milk whatever whatever you just name it so to do good things to achieve good things you need effort and no one knows about it we just need effort that's how we get good results and rewards will definitely come for our struggle whatever we are doing it's very very important so again to be happy it's to ignore a lot of things to ignore a lot of voices ignore a lot of criticism ignore a lot of negative approach ignores a lot of you know like uh, faces the faces you do you cannot imagine it might be your family it might be your friends your outsiders your colleagues whoever but you should understand that only thing what you have to take is your direction your focus your achievement and you have to delete all the criticism and ignore and now the question arises that how we could ignore those things very beautiful example allah subhanahu wa taala made the system in us allah subhanahu wa taala put the chip in us how to ignore the things if allah subhanahu wa taala can do this us and teach us how we can ignore so we will ignore we have to we have to do these things deliberately learn how to do that like uh, just uh, for example it's food for thought that in this um, when when you are doing noises lots of noises each and everything has noise even if uh, you know uh, if one atom moves is noise if its particle move is noise but allah subhanahu wa taala made our ears that only relevant noises are going into ears otherwise we'll go mad if we hear a lot of noises because if one person is talking the music is on the tv is on or radio is on or some few people are in the gathering we cannot handle we get headaches but what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the chip of our ears that only we can our be here you know naked ears we can listen that much and that's it we cannot do each and every thing particle an atom has noise but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shut it for our ears only we can hear few kind of things you know few like a uh, wavelength thing we can hear such a beautiful gift imagine if we can hear everything 
I remember my mom had uh, cancer and she was doing, she was taking one tablet, tamoxifen, and that makes her hearing power very high. And then she used to tell, we can't even put one thing, you know, tap the table or anything. She said, oh, it's too much for me. No one can talk to her. Everyone talk to us very softly. So imagine how important for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made our ears. So we should understand that what is necessary, we should hear. What is not necessary, ignore it. So the first point is to ignore in our life a lot of things. The people, the criticism, negative things, approaches. No, it should not give you impact on your actions of your work and on your focus as well. I'm giving you an, another example. Like uh, if we say that uh, if my eyesight become very, very, like if we all know now, scientists know that we can see just for that far. And we don't have microscopic eyes as well. Because I did my master's in genetics and I did the microbiology as well. I remember when we used to do the heavy uh, microscopes, you know, the heavy lenses microscope. And for the not even one drop, the less of the drop of water or whatever substances we're using, we can see uh, thousands of bacteria there. Thousands of bacteria. But Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't give us those eyes, no microscopic eyes we got. Otherwise, we would have died with just, you know, like so much of uh, uh, all the time we get worried, vehem, all the time that this, uh, we cannot even hold ourselves, our hand, or any kind of thing because we can see the bacteria and the viruses uh, running and doing amoeba and everything. Oh my God. I still remember how there is a microscopic life over there. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided us to have that kind of vision, we can see only that. The rest we can't see. So far we can see, after that we can't see. So near we can see, after that we can't see. So in both ways Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved us to give us this kind of eyes, vision, this kind of vision we only have to control, to live accordingly, nicely, safely. So we understand the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we can apply towards our action as well. We only can see which we need it. And we can't see that uh, we are, you know, we, we, we won't do that, all those things. So this is my first part of three rules or three things to be happy that you cannot uh, just take everyone's criticism on your heart or things on your heart the only thing you have to do just keep doing your work with focus with uh, consistency and with discipline you just go for it and ignore all those things after second one we have that we said connect with positive people which we will discuss in my next program because this is the time for me to give you Shagufta ji ke tote ke tips with Shagufta Khan ha 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 ab time hua hai Shagufta ji ke tote ke tips with Shagufta Khan welcome, welcome to, to Simplex Top brands with quality LED panels, full HD to Ultra HD, and now the experience of Super Ultra HD. Visit our theater rooms and transform your home with brands like Onkyo, Integra, Denon, Boston Acoustics, Yamaha, and more for quality audio visual experience. Now available, full range of home appliances, a one stop shopping experience. Call 031 306 4029 or Kenilworth Park. 202 Brickfield Road Overport, Simplex Radio, the name you can trust. You can tr- ha ha ha, ab time hua hai, Shagufta ji ke totke, tips with Shagufta Khan. Expressions by Shagufta Khan, woman only for all the occasions. Contact me, Shagufta Khan, 0834212930 or 0312082204.
tips with Shia Gupta Khan. And let me tell you first, the Instagram page account is expressions. Start with X underscore Shia Gupta. And you will see all the related uh, nice uh, remedies and the work which we are doing. Today again, we are doing for falling hair spray. Usually, I used to give you oils. Now, for falling hair, we are giving you a spray. Please keep your pen and paper ready. Write it. It's very easy. You can do it yourself and you can save your hair for falling. This is 100% guaranteed and no chemical involved. So, that is my motto to do the chemical free, the toxin free uh, products. And inshallah, I will be there at the souk. Uh, I think 1B128, I'll definitely mention it to you exactly. Confirm firm of my stall number as well where we are selling the skin and the hair products which uh, all organic it called asli and you can use that one but today this diy do it yourself is very very easy very nice and i know lots of my sisters are listening and i know they'll do it and then they'll call me 0834212930 shagufta what must do what i and show me i'm very happy i have no problem you can show me on video call how you making it and that is three tablespoon of rice you wash it you soak it soak it for a few hours then what you have to do you can grind it once you grind you can see the milk of the rice milk you know you can get that you can strain that add aloe vera gel one tablespoon and what you have to do one to two tablespoon of castor oil mix it together um, I will repeat everything again. Apply two to th three times and massage. Spray two to th you will see the difference. How it is? It's a spray, very very nice. Some people don't like to put oil in their hair, so this spray I came up for them. Three tablespoon of rice. You can wash it, soak it overnight, a few hours, good few hours, and then you can grind it. Once you grind it, you'll see the milk of rice milk. You can strain it. Uh, take that uh, rice milk, add one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. Then one to two tablespoon of castor oil. Mix it nicely. Now you will see it will be in a spray bottle. You can add it. You can apply on your scalp. Massage it nicely and use it uh, like um, every second day, twice a week. Two, two to three times a week is very, very important. Leave it on for one hour. If you even if you want to leave it on for a little bit more uh, more like uh, overnight or half day you can do it because there's nothing wrong with it and you will do nicely you can then you can wash it so all these rice uh, milk castor oil will work amazing and as we say aloe vera, uh, aloe vera gel is also very good but the only thing you have to massage and nowadays is a very good thing comes up it calls derma roller you will get derma roller at uh, stall by me and you will get good results because it's like a micro needling you can apply that and you can use derma roller so it can absorb in your, your scalp and it gives you it revitalize your skin your hair your cuticle and it works wonders so inshallah for the next uh, week we will bring more and more diy shagufta ji ke totke which works wonder inshallah we'll see you in souk as well we're all getting excited we're all getting prepared over here now this is the time for me to uh, close my program as we mentioned in the beginning that uh, uh, we the one tip three tips we are doing today i spoke for one tip and that is ignore when you are achieving something people will come with the criticism there is no two ways so don't get worried people are talking about you this this as long as you are focused dedicated and disciplined to get your thing so once you ignore you will see how beautiful your life will be and don't discuss it with anyone just carry on doing your work carry on doing your achievement and inshallah allah is seeing definitely everything he will reward you abundantly inshallah pir, uh, in, for the next week monday i will come and discuss more diy with you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh